Okay, for those of you that are interested, here's a, a quick overview of the various modes that the duty roster will work in. Uh, if we look up here in the top corner, we have the mode selected to skip weekends and any entered holidays. So you can change that over on the required information tab by using these drop downs here. So we can skip, but don't skip or separate the way it assigns duty. So if I put don't skip and treat together, we get one version of the roster. So here, let's look, I've already entered some initial assignment numbers. And if we run the roster where it's going to handle weekends and entered holidays the same, here's what you get. So again, the, the weekends are grayed out, but uh, in this mode, it's gonna just race through it. So let's create the roster. And what you can see here is the roster number when the first person is assigned, four was the highest number it was assigned here. His number starts over and keeps incrementing until he's assigned duty from being the highest number. Again, it makes no difference whether he has uh, the holiday or a weekend or a holiday. And much like I pointed out before, per the regulations, if the uh, uh, exception code uses a D or a U, the numbers continue to increment while if it's an A, the numbers do not. So if we look down here, the person's one, two, three, the number stays constant, stays three here, and then becomes four. So that's the, the one mode, that's the simplest mode. That's the way the uh, regulation is written. It doesn't worry about holidays or weekends. So let's take a look at uh, another one. Let's look at the mode where we're going to skip weekends and any entered holidays. So. Uh, for this period of time, there's no uh, holidays listed. If we wanted to include a holiday, we can list them here. So if I uh, if I make uh, St. Patrick's Day a holiday, so that's 31721. Uh, if we go back and look at our roster, now we see 317 is a holiday. So our mode says that we're going to skip uh, weekends and holidays. Now, granted, I know St. Patrick's Day is in a, usually a day off work. Usually the day after is off for me, but... Anyway, so if we run this roster again, uh, we'll see that uh, it's going to skip the weekends and the holiday. So let's create the roster. We'll let it do its thing. And now you can see that as our duty roster is assigned, it just determines that there's weekends or holidays. It just skips over those like they're, they're not there. So this is a case where if we have, uh, you know, a weekday duty assignments, and if we want to include a holiday, we can skip that. If we want to just include or just skip the the weekends but not skip holidays, then we would just simply uh, blow out any holiday listed here and then you'll just get one skipping weekends. Now the third mode is uh, one where it's a little bit more complex and uh, that mode is when we uh, don't skip the weekends and holidays and we generate the uh, duty and assignments in separate cycles so that weekend and holidays will go on one frequency while weekdays go on another. So let's take a look at that. So again, when I change those drop downs, we see this change. So we're gonna treat weekends and entered holidays with unique assignments, which means different than the, the regular weekdays. So again, when we generate our roster, uh, click the button here. What you'll see is we don't have any roster assignments for the first weekend or the first holiday. So we need to provide those. So we would look those up from our last duty roster or for the sake of speed, I will just enter everybody in with a one. I apologize for this taking too long. I should have copied them down, but I'm already committed. Uh, as soon as we enter those numbers, the sheet takes over. So just let's take a minute to look at this. You can see during the weekday, the numbers increment, but then when we get to weekends, you know, the numbers start one, two, and then we don't pick up three and four until here. So again, you'll notice that uh, you have a, the same frequency of weekend assignments being assigned to each person once you get through the list. So those are the three modes of the, the duty roster that I have set up again, just to uh, reiterate. You change how you wanted to calculate here. Uh, you can list your holidays and you can also list the number of people to assign on a given day uh, by default. And then you can also assign the length of the duty, but hopefully that makes it a little clearer in the three modes. So again, you can 
uh, skip the weekends and holidays altogether, uh, ignore them and treat them all the same and run one roster or put the weekends and holidays in their own uh, number sequence. I hope that makes sense to everybody. I had some questions about it in the past, but uh, hopefully uh, you can get a copy from me and, and follow along a little bit uh, slower and figure out the differences. That's all. Till next time. Bye-bye.